Hello everybody and got some exciting news to share with you. Uh, me and Tracy have got together again. Um, we've done a, like a tag fabrication kit. Um, it's a load of base tags with different elements in it and just to make up loads of different tags which I've got a few samples and I'm also going to do a little you know make in this video as well but I thought I would show you both kits because I think Tracy said she might be having a few technical dis um, problems with her Mac at the moment so I thought I would just show off both kits just in case but I will link if there's any videos that she's done I will link her videos in the description box of course yeah we had so much fun doing the other kit and we just said oh let's you know let's get together again and do something because we seem to work quite well together so this is it so again so to stop any confusion all right because it was a little bit last time you, some of you thought we had the same kit and things like that no it was one big kit and we literally split it between us yeah i have bits of what tracy done tracy has some of bits of what i've done we just literally split it down the middle okay so this is my part and that is tracy's part so you have to purchase tracy's on her etsy page and you purchase mine okay and then that gives you um, I think we've got 11 pages each, so that'd be 22 printable pages, which I'll show you traces in a minute. Okay, so they're all different. So they're all different size tags, and we're just, oh, just fun. Yeah, so it's all bases for you to, to work with, but we've, we have included some elements that, you, that works well with the, the tags, and they sort of sit on top of each other. You know, there's big one. They can all intermix. Yeah. So that's page one. Yeah, it's called print and go, really. <laughs> but, you know, you know me. I will add bits. And got some lovely na number uh, numbers. I've got numbers on the brain again. Words on e in each of the kits as well. So, and they're just great bases to work with. Another one there. I mean, this might look similar to that one, but that's a small version of that, you see? So they're all sort of mixed up and they've all got stitching around. Actually, it's in, in a couple of the samples, there's, I think there's a couple of samples that haven't got the stitching, but I've done it myself. It's just that it was before I thought, oh no, I will add the stitching. So I say some faux stamps here to play with and everything some tiny little bits of ephemera yeah just to work in with what you're doing and then there's a, there is a page of all the uh, all the tags shrunk down for mini tags in case you need them always handy that <laughs> just the ease of printing because some people have problems shrinking down the kits when they have an ipad so that's great that that's included and there's that. So yeah, all the little elements you can emboss, heat emboss. I'll show you some of them done up, they're lovely. I think Tracy's going to have a video on doing some of them, so that'll be great. And some big mushrooms in that because the fairies, um, they're done to sit on, um, to put on the tags so the the little people can sit on them yeah and then some nice big butterflies for for wings for behind the paper dolls you know tim holtz paper dolls which working well yeah and these look nice on the side of the tag or on the top and page of ephemera and i've just got some sort of male photographs on that one some very vintagey and again, all the little postcards are shrunk down. Yeah. And some more butterflies there. And page there. Yeah, some mushrooms. And... Oh, 
and you might have seen these i have included these but they are in one of my kits so it was just a fill in a page i mean it's not everybody's going to have this kit so they won't have these but they're sort of cut down and sized to fit in the tags and the tape measure as well which i've used some of this in i think this is the one i didn't have the stitching on because it was like my original and this is original work in the background here that's what i've done with tissue paper and everything and then just added some digital elements on the top and i have used that so like i said i've got i've got samples on this this one so that's mine and like i say i'm showing traces but she most probably has her own video hopefully if a mac is stopped playing up you know it happens Okay, that's the page of elements on that one. Oops, I think it'd be better that way. There you go. And some tags there. Just make sure we're going because I'm mixing the kits up now. <laughs> I'm going to turn them all around, I think. Okay. I love this mushroom. So we just tried to fill in all the spaces. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, all the tags shrunk down. And page of elements. It's just all mini ele elements, that you could, elements that you can just cut up and use for building your tags up. Oh, I'm so excited about this, actually. <laughs> it's just brilliant. You know, because I've done the Tim Holtz tags, didn't I? And, and I thought, yeah, it is a lot of work to do. So this way, you can, you can sort of do them quite quickly. Okay. And some more there. And some there. Okay, so that's the two kits. All right, um, I have sample somewhere. Let's see, I've done a few. And I will do some today as well. So it's a few samples. Okay, this is the one that actually wasn't stitched. Okay, but I, I manually stitch this myself. And then I thought, oh no, I will add the stitch in. It was four, I sort of, you know, I made a few tags up with a few of the um, backgrounds I'd done just to get a feel for how I was going to do it digitally. So that's why this didn't have the stitching around at the time. That's one there. And the same as this one, I stitched that. And I thought, oh yeah, these, these elements aren't incorporated, but other ones similar are. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, so th these elements aren't actually in the kit, but that was because I'd done this one previous to doing the kit. And I thought, oh yeah, we need something for the little girl to sit on and things like that. But there's similar objects in the kit that you can use. Okay. All this is from the kit though except for the dangles and things. I just added. Yeah, so they come out really good, like, absolutely brilliant. And I think Tracy is gonna do a little, little tutorial on those or something similar. You know, nice, easy tag. You know, these are literally a f five minutes tags because I've done all the little embellishments and things. So put together really quickly and they look very striking actually. And that's one using the Tim Holtz. Yeah, because all this is all printed and it don't need to stitch around it or anything. It's all done. <laughs> and then you just add your elements. Okay. Oh, I didn't paint the back of that one, look. <laughs> This one there. 
And so this is not in there, but all this is, that's one of your little faux stamps. And like I said, I was just playing around. I was going to put grommets in there. I haven't done it yet. Two grommets in that bit there. Just to add a bit of interest. Nice, wasn't it? Other than that, that come from the nature's remedies because I'm going to use them in that, you see. And another one there. Okay, oh, that's one of the ones that I've done. Got it, there'll be a video on that one, so I'll link that below on those. I actually made them from scratch out of wire. As you can see. Okay. And one more with incorporating one of the vellum stickers. So honestly, it you just and that's just a ticket folded over and then a grommet put in that and dangle something from it so yeah that's so honestly you would do them so quickly you wouldn't believe it so i shall get some few bits out and we shall continue doing a few more for you okay i'll just remove all this and i'll see you in a minute okay i've picked out two tags okay one will sit on top of the other um, there's also going to be another video after this one of some of the ones that I showed you in, um, you know, in these, these, I've done a video earlier on a few of the first tags I've done. So, and I think I said something about this kit might be coming out and things like that, but at least there's a little bit of a, a walkthrough on those as well. Um, this one I'm going to keep quite simple. Yeah. And I'm going to just put one of those under there. I'll do one of the doll ones first. I've got loads, look, I've cut loads of bits out. Not everything, but I've cut loads out. And I've got my little dangles. And I've got my little thing of words. So, yeah, plenty. Oh, and I've also got, I want to incorporate my metal numbers that i done, I don't know, a few weeks ago now. Um, because I haven't used them yet. But these were like Tim Holtz papers that i done. i done the faux metal ones and i done the rust technique didn't i and then i done these with vellum so i thought i would incorporate these as well because they just sat in front of me staring at me and i'm thinking yeah i must use them <laughs> actually i quite like these i've done as well it's just frames i've done rust technique so you don't have to use them as that you could cut them down and use them so anyway we'll see see what i can come up with with them but i thought i'd just do a very simple one to start with so, let's take one. Oh, all the elements I've got cut out now and all the tags are all mixed up now. Okay, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Yeah, oh, I'll put some of this down here. Ah, I needed that to come down a bit, didn't I? Okay, never mind. We shall do it like that now. And Andrea put it straight. Even done one of my bows ready. <laughs> That's 
there and one of the paper dolls i've already put the pads on i need to ink up that a little bit though and where did that sponge go it's a green one folks oh, well, oh there it is so i don't want too much on it so just I uh, got my glue gun on, yes, yeah, all sorted <laughs> for now. Um, I think she's going to lay. I want to see some of that number, you see. Show up there, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a simple one. Hold on. Yeah, and that there. Just come over a little bit. I'm going to put that down now. I use glue on these. Okay. Because they do, the glue doesn't last forever. That's on these sticky things. At least they're quite thick, these though. You don't have to glue them. Don't have to put sticky pads on these at all, actually. They, they seem to lift off quite nicely off the page. Right, let's put her about there, I think. And I'm going to put one of these up there. So you can make these quite elaborate if you wanted to, but it's good pace. I know we both work very hard and I'm very thankful for Tracy. She's absolutely great to work with. Absolutely great. Okay, I use hot glue for this. I'm not sure I'm going to get a dangle on this one. We shall see. And then I'll start twisting that. Looks like it's going to go down about there. Like that. And then I carry on twisting. Actually, one more, I think. And the same this one. I reckon it's going to go about there. Just going to cut that bit off there if I forget. And I'm going to leave that one, I think. Yep. And we need something in the middle, don't we? Um, let's have a look, see what we got. I didn't get any of those out, actually. Oh, I'm just wondering whether to... I don't think I've got anything done with butterflies. Get that away. 
I need something down here as well. <laughs> Knowing me. So I like, love these bits of that. What shall I dangle them on here? You just get so many options. Too many options. <laughs> I'm going to cut that off there. All the elements we've put into the kits are all the right size for tags. So they can still be cut up and used like this. And you can stamp these as well. Some of the plainer ones will look great stamped, wouldn't they? There you go. My hand is hiding from me. So I'll put a little bit of glue in the middle there. And like I've said before, I try to do it so it's slightly under, yeah, so it doesn't come up too high. And I think we keep that one dangle free. There you go. I haven't done any of the back, so that I would either coffee stain, coffee stain them all, or I put some, you know ink them up and everything which I can go ahead and do that off screen that's just normal let's put those over there okay so that's that one nice and simple but looks great I think okay we've just got to choose some more now put that one in here Just got a few. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think got enough tags for it to last me a bit. And they're great because they, they're going to, you'll be able to do so many different things. Oh, these are the ones that, like I've done before I stitched around. So, right, let's have a look. Let's keep the little ones separate. Yeah. That looks quite nice. I like that one too. We need to do a we need to do um we need to do a bird one actually because I'm doing something. Oh that might fit on there. Let's swap it around a bit. Now I'm covering that up, but because they can be used on their own and you can decorate them or you can lay them up. It's totally up to you. That could be So many different. Oh, I'd love to know that how many combinations you could get. Is somebody good at maths. Or should I keep that one to that? Now. I think I'll keep that to that for now because I want to do a bird one or something because I haven't done that yet. Have I done all people and butterflies? Okay. So I did cut a bird out. Oh, you can use that dangle on there, I think. Oh, he's great. Perfect. Don't know where he's going to go yet. But you could put something down there, you see. And then you could put him there, like that. And then you could put some words down here and a dangle and you're done. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. 
that. And we could use a bit of um, night jute with that one, I think. No, it's too heavy. They're actually quite dainty tags, if you know what I mean. And I quite like that. So, I just want something light. And that's going down there. Do you know what? I'm going to keep this one simple. It's absolutely brilliant. And maybe something behind there. So, let's stick this down first. I was just thinking, I need him coming out a little bit, I think. I'm not sure. Should we do him flat? No, we're going to do him flat because it's a little bit delicate there. So. I don't mind that over there because that's going to sit on there, you see? Like that. Okay, I feel like I need something down here. So I've picked out a bit of tape measure and cut a bit off of one of these, the red tickets, because I thought that blended in nicely as well. So I think I'll put this one first. So I'll put that one there. Like that. I need a bigger tray for all this. <laughs> That's amazing once you cut it out, how much you've got. <laughs> Gosh, I'll keep going for hours. Right, grommet, I think, in that one. And chose one of the bird dangles. So. And there.
Ah, I've got to turn this around. I've got the small one. Um, like I say, I do guess with this. I have no idea. Because like, actually, there is measurements on them. But I can't see them. So, Which I think I've said before. So I'm guessing. If it doesn't work, then we have to do it again. Come on, get in. Yeah. I'm thinking that's it. Yep. I think I've gone all the way round. Not quite right, but I'm going to do that one next time. I forgot I had it on the smaller one. Usually it's always on the big one, but that's that. Um, right, what have I chosen? Bit of sari silk. Oh, I've got a longer bit. Let's do that. So what I might do, actually, is thread that through. dangle on so I've already done my dangle I've chosen a little birdie that green one there because I thought that went really well and instead of opening it up I am gonna just slip that on there saying that <laughs> bit of jute string in a knot around here. And that's that one. Okay. There we go. And another one done. I reckon there, uh, if you've got all the dangles and all that done, five minute card, five minute tag. There you go. <laughs> well, I might be able to do the 100 day challenge. <laughs> but there are 100 different tags. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Out of that one tip. I'm sure we could do it because I'm just using the bits and pieces, so which is great. I need to find a different tub for this. It's not big enough, okay, because I can't really see. I need it spread out, and I don't want to spread it all around here. I'm, I'm lacking in space, so I'm just going to find another tub, and we'll be back with another one. Oh, I've got this. Oh, I nearly forgot. I'm going to put that on there somewhere. That's just a bit of dew knotted. Okay, I thought it looked nice there somewhere. Yeah, just a knot. Usually the end bits I get from what I cut off here, I just put them together and knot them. So I'm going to put that little bit down as well. Because it's just hanging around. Okay. 
Just there. And I'll just get something small to and, and leave that to dry. Yeah. I'm liking that. I love these. Got them at the show last year. Okay, and that's that one done. Okay, I've chosen this for the next one. Okay, because I thought I'd use this young lad here. Okay, keep it a little bit masculine on this one. And I thought I would do the three tag on this. Like that. Yeah, and I'm going to use one of these that's included in the kit over here. So I think I'm going to put that on first. Like that. No, I don't need anything underneath this one, I don't think. This one's slightly bigger than the other, so, which is great. That's what I wanted. Up there, I think. I know we're covering it all up, but <laughs> and I think I'll do another similar with a photo. I think I use some of those. There's just so many elements to use. Obviously, great. Okay. And I thought he would go there, and he looks about six. <laughs> so I'm going to use one of my numbers. Put that there. I'll link the video when I've done these a few weeks ago. I might have mentioned that already, I can't remember. I sort of want him so that he's leaning on there. And grommet in there, I think. Oops. And one at the top. Oops. And then I've picked this out. Shall we have that there? I might as well put that big one in, I think. And um, what should we put here? No. We need a little dangle, don't we? Or... Try 
that these threads are off the fabric. So I could knot something like that there. And you can, oh, I've got these as well, haven't I? Got that. <clears throat> I quite like this here, so I didn't really want to. I love the way this has worked out. Actually, that's going to work that now. Just do with something up there, really. Just a little bit of something. That bit of string. Boys like string, don't they? Oh. Okay, and that's that one. Okay, let's use one of the photographs then. Okay, so I've I've just mounted that, not perfectly, but I want to jag it up a bit. Oh, what's the bit? And I can't find my thing. All right, I'll do it with this. I just want to uneven that a bit. Okay. Yeah, that's the two tags I've chosen. Yeah, that's going on top of there. Um, no, I'm going to stick that straight down. I'm going to keep this very simple just to show you. So I've just mounted a bit of card, got a dangle, got a bit of tape measure. And that is it. The tape measure is in, oh, in the printable. Could put some stuff on the top there actually. Um, what colour shall I use? Let's have a look. Oh, I got a bit of black somewhere, haven't I? That would be nice, I think. Yeah, got a bit of that. I'm going to use this instead. Oops. Just thinking I could have a bit of that today. I haven't used it on these today. Sure, I'm going to come down a bit more. I think, oh, should I put my dangle in there? No, I'm going to put my dangle in there, I think. Yep, I'm going to keep it in there. <laughs> my dangle in there. <laughs> oh, we do say silly things when we're videoing, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's there. Mm.
Oh, sure, yeah. I'll put some of that under it. And I thought, just cut a bit off, and I'm going to go into that, up to that black line there. Yeah. And then it comes out about there, I reckon. Yep. Okay. You could do something here. I'm not going to... No. Be that or some words. That could look quite nice. I didn't want to use words. I think I'll do that. Okay, I either can put a dangle, which there we are, I've used a lot of dangles, or we can use one of the little numbers. I think black might work actually. I've got a few done, these are already been embossed. That's a freebie on my Facebook group and I think there's a sheet on my website rcmaze.com or the link is below anyway I've got these are the ones I've got left I've not used there's some in the kit as well I think you've got um oh that one's sorry this one's a little bit thinner that one's quite thick I'm going to use that one, I think. You don't need to emboss these. You can use um, glossy accents. You can do a load up. Or just as they are. What I'm doing is just to press those edges down. Yep, and then I think this will look nice here. There you go, done. So you could have put some, you know, black words at the bottom. I mean, you still can really. Something about there would be all right. A little word. What we got there. But you are the best. No, I'm leaving it. I quite like the way that is. Just like that, to be honest. Okay. And there's another one done. <laughs> See what I mean? Easy, isn't it? <laughs> Especially if you've got all your embellishments ready. You could do loads. I don't know how many tags there are in each in each um, kit. I have no idea. I didn't count them. Should have done, really. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go off and make a few more off camera. And then we'll have a final run through of what we've done today. Okay, because I want to make some quickish ones. And I've showed you quite a lot, you know, for my next journal. So I shall go ahead and do that. And then I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'll tell you, show you the last you i done oh i've muddled them up now because i took some photographs and i forgot you've seen that one i think didn't you i can't remember um oh that one 
Okay. And that one there. I think that's all I done. You saw me do that one. Oh, and that one. Okay. I'll just cut a circle out there. So, oh, what shall I do with that? I'll just cut a circle out. <laughs> Right, so that's that's them. So I have a quick flick through of the tags. And I put one of the um, tabs on there. Okay, guess where that's going? <laughs> so I wanted to just do a few more of those. Okay. And you might have seen these. I talked about these this morning, didn't I? So, do hope I'm fine, yeah. There we go. So, thank you very much for watching. That's quite a few done. And got loads left. <laughs> so, I will be making some more out of it. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching then. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.